Jim Estios here um, for uh, tonight's final thought. Uh, in the course of uh, doing a little bit of uh, spring cleaning and uh, getting my taxes organized, I found myself going through you know, boxes and boxes of papers. I needed to move some uh, uh, filing cabinets from uh, uh, upstairs bedroom to the to the garage, and um, uncovered a you know a whole bunch of correspondence that I hadn't even seen in a long time. One of the um, letters that I found had been written to me. Let's see, let's see that. I can't see that. The light. One of the letters that I'd found was from one of the professors that I had when I was doing my teacher training. It was a language arts course, and uh, part of the process of the course is, uh, is uh, we did uh, work and and uh, usually reported back using journaling, which I absolutely loved. Um, having done had some previous experience with that and uh, then I guess sometime after the course when the course was done um, I gave her a copy of the uh, book that I had been working on uh, Briff's Gift totally totally forgot about all of this it is a book I've been working on for quite a long time actually and uh, so I, when I uncovered this letter at first I didn't even recognize uh, uh, the professor's name it was Connie Ryan and um, and you know as I was reading this letter it just kind of amazed me this piece of the past that I had totally forgotten about uh, she says some really nice things about the book and, and some things a little observations as far as you know here was a book that was uh, really meant for a young uh, audience because uh, the main character is uh, 10 years old and then I throw some uh, fantasy sci-fi kind of stuff in there and she doesn't know how that would quite work out. But the thing that actually really got me is at the very end of the letter, she refers, uh, gives me the references to two uh, New York agencies that I could have sent my book to or my manuscript to, to see whether or not there was a possibility there. And uh, and, and, and as I read this, I'm, I, I was dumbstruck as to, you know, what was it that I was thinking that I probably didn't even think twice about um, um, sharing my manuscript with these um, two agencies. And I, the only thing I guess I could think of is, you know, at the time I had probably just completed my teacher training, so I was up to my eyeballs in becoming an elementary school teacher, completely dedicated to that to that mission. And it never dawned on me that I could also, at the same time, uh, be pursuing uh, a career as a, as a writer. Um, which is something I've loved and done, you know, my whole uh, adult life, especially. And it, it, it's just like, uh, so here I am, all these years later, quite a few, you know, three decades later, two decades later. Anyway, <laughs> don't want to do the numbers. Um, kind of just, kind of just wondering how it was that I didn't even budge in that direction uh, when this person that I respected. You know, gave me uh, some references and gave me kind of, you know, uh, some helpful advice. And I guess, I guess the only thing that I can actually think of is that I never really felt like the book was done. And so, I, so until I finished, felt like I finished the book, then I was, I certainly wasn't going to send it away to have a professional evaluation. Um, but here I am, um, all these years later, uh, reconsidering um, what I want to do. And, uh, and where I want to put my energy in. So it's, it's just an interesting thing um, as I'm kind of ramping up, uh, revisiting some, uh, some writing uh, uh, projects that I would run into this letter from probably the mid 90s, uh, where here was this very uh, interesting possibility that, I, that apparently I, you know, I don't remember that I didn't do anything about. And so uh, there you go. Life is funny that way. And, I, and it's happened to me before. I've written about this before, uh, the dangers of having um, um, done so much journaling and, 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 uh, and uh, blogging and that sort of thing. So, you know, I'll uh, quite frequently, well, on a regular basis, let's say, uh, pull down something that I've written, you know, in the mid-90s or something, um, early, even earlier than that. And it's like, oh, my God, you know, I'm still doing the same things. So hopefully I can learn and uh, um, get on some of these projects and, and do something with it. Um, so I mean, it's 
so something like 30 years in the making so here we go so that's my final thought for tonight is is just wondering at uh, the course my life has taken uh, insofar as not doing the writing on a professional level and, uh, and, and maybe it's time so here we go anyway that's my thought my final thought for tonight um, and we'll talk to you next time